When people use the expression total war, uh, I think most often what comes to mind is the First World War, uh, a war in which industrialized nations brought unprecedented power to the battlefield, um, resulting in uh, unprecedented slaughter. Um, but in important ways, historians have noted that a transition occurred much earlier than that, um, around the time of the French Revolution and the Napoleonic Wars. And the argument go here goes something like this, that the creation of a nation of citizens transformed the idea that people had about conflict um, uh, during this period um, and made it something much more profound and ultimately something much more violent. Um, how do they justify this? Well, they point out that prior to the French Revolution, the wars that took place in uh, Europe were generally of short duration. The armies were much smaller. Um, the, uh, the officers who led these conflicts uh, were aristocrats who were chosen by birth. Uh, they were not particularly professionalized. Some were good, some were not so good. Um, and they tended to view each other, the aristocrats who were in command of the armies, as members of a similar caste um, who, who were uh, 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 due the, certain, the respect and dignity that, that, that went along with um, being aristocrats. Um, after the French Revolution, when um, the nation at arms was called uh, 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 in 1792, when the revolution was being threatened by invasion from without, um, and the citizen army was created, a different kind of war emerged in which nations went after each other um, and which the, the, th the fundamental threat was much more, uh, uh, much more menacing, much deeper, and demanded unrestrained violence in order to defend oneself. Um, the aristocratic officers uh, fell by the wayside. A uh, new school of military officers, Napoleon himself, is somebody who's uh, typical of this. He came from the artillery, where birth mattered much less than merit. You have the beginnings of a much more professional um, uh, officer class. And most importantly, you have a sense of national conflict, which is literally to the death, right? Survival is at stake in this in ways that were, um, uh, uh, that were simply not the case earlier. Now, you can overdraw this argument. There are examples of horrific wars before. Um, the Thirty Years' War in the 17th century is an example of a, of a terrifically um, devastating conflict. And of course, even the Napoleonic Wars didn't match the scale. Um, of, uh, uh, of the conflict in the First World War. But at the same time, this conceptual shift that creates a nation at arms produces um, a different kind of conflict, one with, um, uh, whose potential really is realized uh, in the coming decades.